The president of UAW in Trump this is not a good standard of living. The heated Detroit auto contract negotiations collided with the 2024 presidential elections. While United Automobile Workers Chairman Sean Finn appealed to auto workers without Donald Trump's former president who competed for another period, CNBC in host Brian Sullivan in UAW about last call for president about the last call when asked. Despite long-term support union stance under leadership of the approval approvals were not freely in gain. Fain later referred latest comments that Trump directed to auto workers without the name of former president the other day he encouraged people stop paying union dues. This is not a good standard of living. UAW's Ford Motor Co. General Motors Company and Stellantis NV ends at 2,359. Negotiations on economic proposals continue. Trump took a step to automatic employees in a video on social media on Monday. What is for our automobile employees is an anger beyond an absolute shame and belief. Automobile employees are completely disintegrated by Joe Biden and at the same time they're terrible. Leadership said, as an important part of President Joe Biden's local agenda on business, production and climate change. Trump continued to criticize the transition to electrical vehicles supported by large federal incentives and subsidies. In addition to imposing bead, Trump criticized leadership of the union, but also criticized union's leadership. UAW claimed that he received support from members. He called on the union not pay the union dues because they sell you hell and offer higher wages for automobile employees and promised protect jobs, he will go hell. On Wednesday, Finn referred to Trump's comments during the 2016 election campaign. I will never forget. I cannot lead the elections. Candidate Michigan the Middle West. Such as a rotation come places come pay less money pay us send us another place. He said. Nothing not hell for UAW workers. In 2015, Trump competed for the presidency. In an interview with Detroit News, Michigan announced that he proposed to produce some car. At that time, Trump said that Ford CEO Mark Fields wrote to him about an investment planned in Mexico. Trump argued that a way stop the expansion of car manufacturers Mexico would be carry some production lower wage states than Michigan. In 2017, he canceled his plans establish a $1.6 billion facility in Mexico. In the meantime, he asked Biden, who wanted an automatic strike again? Embarrassed. Fain said he didn't believe it I think a strike can confirm again where the working class people in this country stopped. It is time for politicians in this country to choose a side. You represent a billionaire class or represent the working class. Working class people vote. At the beginning of this week, Finn said that Biden was not likely to be likely to shock. He should know something we don't know. Faz said Monday. Our aim is not to strike. J.G.R. Zalewski Detroit.